same stuff. We're all composed of particles. As you live your life, your particles are recycled, and that's, in a sense, a way that connects us all. And in the end, when you die, the energy that is you is released, and those particles are released back into the larger universe. And do those particles carry some trace of you, some moment, or some history, some memory of you, or don't they? What was that? I think. I think that's my grandfather with a cousin. That's definitely the backyard of uh, Grandpa's yard. The, the piece started initially with the painting of my senior class, which was just a challenge to myself that I could see if I could start doing that many portraits over time. And as I developed it, I realized that it was a very specific moment in time and being, you know, that age in high school and, and everybody has sort of experienced that moment. In your life, you, you have these extraordinary moments that are these like uh, a bungee jumping in Peru or something, some, some major moment or hat that you remember, but the things that connect us are the mundane things, the things that we all have to experience. And as I realized that that, that was sort of the common element there, that it, it, it took you to a moment in your life, I thought it would be interesting to sort of link a series of those moments together, to make you walk through a lifetime, starting with childhood and going into old age. I spent a lot of time visiting the space that it's in now and then trying to sort of choreograph the movement through the space. And I, I want people to have that experience of time passing. So there's breathing moments, there's moments with like a lot of images that take in and then a single image and then hopefully the viewer can rest on things and then go in and then they get excited. And I actually like that moment of recognition. I like seeing people get excited and, and start and then get more engaged with the rest of the piece around them. Montavo gives you this the time and the space to to really experiment with your ideas. Every morning when I wake up, I, I do a hike to the top of the mountain that's behind the uh, villa up the hill. And it's, it's a very good way to clear your mind in the morning. It, it's enough to give you a jolt of energy for the day, and it's a way to, to get yourself started and get back in the studio and really begin to produce. If I can be there and watch people experience this, I really enjoy this sort of moment of discovery with people as they, as they find their own their own narrative within my narrative. So I'm named after Cousin Jimmy in Korea. I don't know if that came from the same time, but I think I was trying for the same sort of look. Both Grandpa. Yeah, those are both Grandpa. There's you and me. <laughs>